So understand here, we're talking about what's called an inherited IRA. Yes. So you have a whopping two kinds of beneficiaries. Pick one, right? You're either a spouse or a non-spouse. Really yes. technical, right? Now, technically, you could leave it to your state. Shouldn't do that. Or leave it to a charity. You can, you should do that in many cases. But most of the time, it's either going to your wife or your husband or your kids, right? The, so you're either non-spouse or spousal beneficiary. Your spouse, nothing changed. Your sure. act didn't do it. Um, the the non-spouse is where, at, where Aaron is talking about here. And, and the government kind of ran this off as a, well, this is more flexible because now your kids don't have to take required minimum distributions, right? Mm-hmm. So we are talking about inherited IRAs that began, somebody had to die after January 1st of 2020, on or before January 1st of 2020, I should say. The law went into effect December 31st of 99. So if you lost a loved one before December 31st of 99, 2019, 20, 2019 pardon yeah. me. I've, I've done this for a long time, 2019, um, then, then nothing's changed. You continue to do what you're doing. But if they died on 2020, January 1st or after, you've got these new rules. 